In the mini minivan segment, one player stands alone. This is the six passenger 2013 Mazda 5. Arriving on the scene in 2006 and receiving its first overhaul in 2012, the Mazda 5 is still one of those clandestine vehicles most consumers don't realize exists. Mazda spends no money to advertise it, and it's the second lowest volume seller in their lineup after the Miata. But for those who have come to know the Mazda 5, it's an affordable minivan alternative with cleverness on its mind. Identical in length, dimensionally, you can think of it as a Ford Transit Connect with a normal roof line. It has dual manual sliding doors that reveal its 2 plus 2 plus 2 seating configuration. The third row seats split and fold flat when not in use, a necessity when carrying cargo is the job at hand. And the second row seats slide easily out of the way so the kids or even tolerant adults can reach the back. They also have these nifty storage areas beneath the seat bottoms, one of which can stow this console bin when not in use. The seats also slide and recline, providing more comfort and flexibility. But what they don't do is fully get out of the way when all you're concerned with is transporting lots of stuff. When the third row is up, a few grocery bags are all that'll fit. With its low step-in height and intuitively designed driver space, the Mazda 5 is an easy get-in-and-go kind of vehicle. The leather seats are particularly agreeable and are heated on this top-of-the-line Grand Touring model. Visibility is all-around clear, and there are some new features this year, such as a USB port, rear backup sensors, and outside mirrors with turn signal indicators. Two items that are conspicuously missing in here are a navigation system and a backup cam. Glaring oversights indeed. Two different dealer-installed Garmin Navi units are offered, but not having a true factory solution is out of touch. Perhaps just as quirky as the Mazda 5 itself is the company's quick retreat on its styling. Mazda touted the flow design language called Nagare for years, and it finally appeared on the restyled 2012 Mazda 5. But it's a one and done for Nagare, as Mazda has quickly moved on to their new Kodo look, so owning this Mazda 5 is like owning a little piece of Mazda history. The consensus this week on the van's appearance, largely negative. Because the Mazda 5 has so far been spared the fun sapping Skyactiv treatment, it still feels Mazda sharp from behind the wheel. The downside, however, is that the 2.5 liter, 157 horsepower engine in five speed auto can only manage 22 MPG city, 28 highway a 1 MPG improvement in the city number over last year. For some perspective, its highway fuel economy is the same as the much larger V6-powered Honda Odyssey, so there's definitely room for improvement. The cabin is also on the noisy side, though I appreciate Mazda sending me a tester with real snow tires. Loaded, this 2013 Mazda 5 Grand Touring stickers for a very reasonable 25620 and there are a multitude of port and dealer installed accessories available like surfboard and bike carriers to expand its usefulness. So let your friends and neighbors know that if they're not quite ready for a minivan, that Mazda makes something worth checking out. For Drive Time on Yahoo Autos, I'm Steve Hammes.